In ancient times, two men, one named Chow Sok and the other Chow Chow Sor, were venerated at the pagoda together. After a while, they fought back, fought back, and became friends again. Promising each other, if anyone is poor, help each other. And the two men also have wives and children in different businesses. Sok's grandson made a lot of money. Saturday's grandson is ignorant, poor, and his wife is also an adulteress. Chow Sok knew that Chow Sor's wife was having an affair and was poor, so he went to ask Chow Sor and found out that Chow Sor was very poor. He asked his grandson to go into business and said, Do as I say. Chow Sor also agreed with Chow Sok's words. Chow Sok asked Chow Sor to cut wood to make coffins for sale. Chow Sor, according to Chow Sok, agreed to go together. The son of a millionaire who had an affair with Peck's wife's grandson saw that he was not at home and went to sleep with his wife. And go home. Grandson Sok and Grandson Saturday made a coffin, put it in the house and went to make another coffin. The millionaire went to sleep with her again. At midnight, Friday and Saturday come home. Chow Sok tried to walk quickly before shouting to call his wife Chow Chow to open the door. The rich man's son was scared and could not run away. Saturday into the house. Peck asked, How did you come back? Chow Sor said, Chow Sok has a headache, call him back, and Chow Sor told Peck to cook and eat. And when Chow Sok found out that her partner was sleeping in the coffin, he told Saturday to find a rattan and tie it to the coffin. Less thieves steal. Grandfather Saturday tied the rattan and threw more nails. As for Chow Sor, who did not know that he was an adulterous wife, he obeyed Chow Sok's orders. In the morning, Chow Sor used Peck as his wife to go shopping. Peck went to tell the millionaire. Let the millionaire wait to buy the coffin for the rich man went to sleep with me. My husband came and ran to sleep in the coffin. Now my husband brought it in the morning. This is it. Tell and Peck went home. After Friday and Saturday, the grandson ate and carried the coffin to sell. One of the millionaires told me to watch the road and tell me. If you see someone carrying a coffin, run to call us. Grandson Sook and Grandson Saturday carried the coffin to the rich man's house, shouting, Who bought the coffin? The millionaire asked, How much do you sell? Chow Sook told him to pour money from the ground up like a coffin. The rich man asked for a price, but Friday did not agree. The rich man also used me as a companion to pour money into the coffin, and the grandsons of Friday and Saturday shared the money. The rich man dug out the coffin and removed the child. Later, Chow Sor took Peck as his wife again. Drag the boat so that it does not sink, catch fish so that the water does not stain.